It is a worthless mess. This is a typo, right? Real defiantly meets? I think it's definitely. <laughs> Cable disconnected. Go to power save. Who's this? Is your, it's turned on? Are you turned on? I don't know. Ours is green, but there's nothing on it. There it is. There we go. <laughs> Okay, we ready? Are we ready? Hey, Stuart, you ready? Yeah, he's waving. He's waving. waving. Okay. I guess he's ready. We're ready. You guys ready? Okay. okay. Good evening. This is the Planning and Zoning Commission for the Village of Vernon Hills. We need to start with a roll call. Chairman Morris. Here. Mr. Ballou. Present. Ms. Cotton. Here. Mr. Hesner. Here. Mr. Heidner. Here. Ms. Zhao. Here. Mr. Gorog. Here. We have a quorum. Okay. This evening, uh, we have no public hearings, but we do have a development review for Rustoleum Corporation to amend the approved site and landscaping plan to allow for the expansion of the east parking lot. And who's going to speak on your behalf? Okay, you need to come up to the microphone and anyone that's going to speak. Uh, the only real ground rule is you speak at either the microphone or the handheld, which has to be turned on probably. All right. Good evening, everyone. Um, Eugene Childers, I'm the uh, Corporate Facilities Manager for rust -Oleum Corporation at 11 East Hawthorne Parkway in Vernon Hills. Uh, we can kind of run through the uh, design of the plans, as you can tell off the graphics. We're looking to add 11 additional parking spaces, uh, five in here and six over here. We're also going to uh, enhance our uh, front entryway. Uh, so we're going to increase all the landscaping. We've got the buffering uh, on the Route 60 side, so we're adding all these additional plantings. Uh, let's see what else we have in here. I'll go on this side. Again, uh, we have a large uh, tree that we had on this corner of the parcel here, which we're going to keep. So what we do is we move the spaces over a little bit so we can accommodate and keep because it's such a majestic tree. Uh, <clears throat> Are there any questions that you have uh, as far as the process? Why? Oh, the reason we need the additional parking is we have so many additional visitors. We've expanded our business. Uh, we've bought some other uh, companies across the country as well as uh, globally. And to support those, we're, uh, we're bringing in a lot more uh, vendors, uh, potential customers, and those types of things. And right now, they have to park across the street over at uh, Salerno's. Oh, yes. Okay. So is this basically visitor parking versus employee parking? Yes, visitor parking. So the awning's going away? Yes. We're going to remove the awning. Um, we're actually going to remove the existing stairs. And uh, we're going to, the big reason we had the awning in the first place was uh, for safety because in the winter wintertime, uh, with those metal uh, manufactured tile style stairs, it would ice over. We were using our crafty icing materials and stuff, and we just couldn't keep the ice off, and it was just a, a nightmare. So what we're proposing to do is to uh, erect new stairs, um, uh, have the metal pans put underneath them. We're going to put a heating system in, so this will automatically uh, have a moisture sensor, so when it detects when it starts to get snowfall, it'll turn the systems on and melt everything and keep it uh, dry. He has an enhancement. We're going to put this one planter in the center, put a tree in there, and then again enhance the uh, surrounding areas and add these uh, new architectural lights. Okay. Anybody else? Uh, you mentioned the tree that you were trying to preserve. Is that on the landscape plan? Mike? Put up the plan you just had. Okay. Is it on there? If I may. Yes, yes. please. You may want to introduce yourself. I'm Mike Long with Principal Construction. 
Uh, in order to show the landscaping, the under landscaping that we're doing here, what we did is we, we showed the existing tree as a very fine line here. So its canopy is shown, uh, but it's, it's transparent. And as Gene stated, uh, we shifted these spaces over so that we could accommodate that tree and leave it. It's a, it's a really nice specimen, so we wanted to keep it if we could. Anybody else? Uh, did, the, uh, did we have a landscape person from the village look at the plan as well? Um, I noticed there's a lot of problems with Austrian pines lately, that they seem to be dying off. We, we have not looked at this in a, in a staff review, or a detailed staff review at this point, and um, what we'd anticipate doing is, uh, you know, they have to provide a detailed landscape plan with, you know, sizes and quantities and those types of things. And we'll look at that in comparison to what the ordinance requires. So we'll take that under consideration as we go. And I'll also make that recommendation to the lands landscape architect. I've noticed the same thing, that they seem to be susceptible to some borer. Uh, so I'll find out if this species is resistant in some fashion, and if not, we'll make a suitable substitute. Okay. okay. Um, it's fine. I got no problems with it. The only concern I have is the same concern we had when we did the one on the other side, and that was to make sure we had enough screening for the, the lights from mm -hmm. the cars that shoot out on the 60. And it looks, if the trees are big enough, it looks like it will. I only noticed like one little hole between your existing three trees by the building, and then, yeah, that one little shot, <laughs> excuse me, right in there. So, but. Aren't there, aren't there additional trees on the other side of the pond there, too? Yes, there are. That, there, that screen you as well? And there are trees also over in here that we didn't show. And okay. when, I, when I took a look at it from this perspective, uh, it, is, it, it does seem like these will uh, accommodate a, a full screen. Okay. I just have one question. Are 11 spaces enough? <laughs> for the visitor parking, that's going to give us a total of 20 spaces, which we uh, deem as more than adequate for visitors. Okay, so this isn't a stage like it's 11 today and we'll come back for six more in a year? And Not on this side of the building. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay, anybody else? Um, I just noticed there's a lot of stairs. It's probably no different from today, but for someone with mobility issues, do you have any other entrances that are handicapped accessible? Yes, what we've done is um, on the entrances, we have directional signage that directs anyone with any uh, ADA needs to uh, go to the underground parking lot where we've got automatic door openers and it's ramped. Okay. All right. So, so what would Helmut Jan think of those lighting fixtures? I mean, what's going on, Gina? Are we gonna like uh, be respectful to Helmut Jan and this this architecture? Is that what we're doing? I think it's pretty attractive. I think you'd like it. I think it looks very nice. <laughs> it, it uncovers your entry, and I think it makes it look much it more good. presentable. Okay. Anything else you want to add? Well, that's it at this time. Uh, like I said, uh, at some future moment, we're. Uh, Potential, uh, we're looking at additional spots for the other uh, west parking lot, but we'll come back to the, to the board uh, when we get closer to that. We did try to bring him with those spaces to this meeting here to try to get it all at one time, but he wasn't ready yet, so. <laughs> all right. Well, we maybe won't be so charitable next time. <laughs> okay. okay, so what we have in this commission is a standing motion to approve, and therefore it would be a motion to recommend approval of final site and landscape plans subject to conditions of A, general compliance with the plans submitted, the engineering plans for these parking lot prepared by Pearson Brown and Associates, the landscape plan prepared by Western DuPage Landscaping consisting of one page of May 23rd, 2011 date. B, as may be required by the village engineer, the petitioner may be required to provide a photometric plan for the project. Additional parking lot lighting may be required if in the opinion of the village engineer lot fails to meet the requirements of the development ordinance. C, as we've already spoken, final approval of plans by the village engineer and landscape architect. And finally, D, compliance with all ordinances and standards of the village. Okay, we have a second. Do you, have any, I, 
I'd like to maybe add a point A to A, just to say that the landscape is going to be looked at as far as the suitability of the Austrian pines. You can yeah. probably under C, but yeah. Um, you could actually add, add it under B, or under uh, A2. That's fine. Um, okay. Special attention will be paid to the uh, types of pine trees to be placed on the property. A second, then? Second. Okay. Any discussion? Do we need a roll call? Mr. Gorog? Yes. Ms. Zhao? Yes. Mr. Heidner? Yes. Mr. Hesner? Yes. Ms. Cotton? Yes. Mr. Ballou? Yes. Okay. Um, this matter will be forwarded onto the village board um, at its meeting on Tuesday, the 21st. So um, I'm going to need more sets of plans from you guys, like tomorrow. Um, or Friday morning at the latest. Uh, 20. Just the same ones that you gave us. Uh, if you want to leave them here, uh, make it uh, 15. Yes, please. Same kind. Same size. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Just a minute. Okay. Um, looks like we have any discussion items we need to address. Um, the, I think I, maybe I, said this the last time, the Village Board did approve, uh, authorize um, monies to bring back Rolf Campbell and Associates to help us with the uh, comprehensive plan. So um, we'll be uh, reaching out. And I've already had one discussion with Al Maiden about coming back, so we'll be working with him on doing an update of the comp plan. And then uh, going hand in hand with that will be also the zoning ordinance. Uh, we need to work on some of the sections in there and clean some stuff up. So. Okay. Um, the final thing I would say, uh, um, Marion's Fresh Market is now open for business. Uh, they are doing a land office business, so um, you know, it's very exciting to have them open. And uh, you know, thanks to this group um, and your efforts in the review of that store, it, I think it has turned out to be a, uh, or it will turn out to be a monumental success and something that's a great asset to the community. So thank you for your help. And we have approval of the minutes from the May 11, 2010 meeting. Jim's got one correction. On page 7, I'd like to correct the second to the, I actually wrote it on there. Oh, you did? Okay, you. thank you. Thank yeah, you. The second to the last comment by Dixon, it says, we defiantly meet, we will defiantly meet all your requirements. I probably bet he said, we will definitely yeah. be, meet he, those requirements. He may have been stomping his feet he when he said that. Okay. Okay. So we have a motion to approve those with that correction in a second. Okay. <laughs> we can do that by acclamation. All in favor? Aye. Anyone opposed? Okay, I those. Abstain. I wasn't here. Okay, but you're not opposed. Okay. Um, all we need then is to adjourn. So we have a standing motion to adjourn. We need a second. A second. second. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all in favor? Aye. Anyone opposed to that? Okay. We're adjourned. Thank, Thank you. you. Even before 8 o'clock. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's right. Get up before 8 o'clock.